Okay. Hey everybody. This cat here and uh let's see, get my channel up and make sure everything's okay. <coughs> make sure we switch over to live. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Welcome in, anybody. We're just getting set up, and I haven't streamed very much lately, so I'm having uh, a little trouble making sure everything is right. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. It shifted. All right. So here's this toy. Uh, you'll see that I'm already fairly geared. Um, and the story is that I started uh, playing Sakal, uh with one run. I've done one run. I'm still alive from it. And uh, I thought I was streaming. But I wasn't. Is this ruined? Oh, it's damaged. Okay. Um, I'm very full though, so I'm not sure I can carry that. I'd like to. And this one is damaged as well. It's giving me some heat. Hmm. I might have to decide to leave behind the duct tape. I hate to do that because I get the crap beat out of me on a regular basis. So well, I've got two sewing kits and a, and a duct tape, so I could I could drop that. There we go. Get that going too. Because, um, though it's not super, super cold, like Namalskian cold, it is colder than I'm used to. So, there we go. So I ran for about seven hours collecting stuff and um, making progress and getting used to the map. And then, um, oh, well, where did that come from? I guess stuff has been spawning. And that is a 30 round sporter mag but it's damaged so we'll just take the bullets. Yeah so I, d I dished the sporter because I found a BK and uh, I think that's a valid shift. <laughs> I have bullets for the BK um, so I ditched it and now stuff seems to have respawned so that's cool. I'm looking for food mostly. I'm looking not to get jumped by a bunch of zombies. Okay. So these, um, it's been really fun, really fun to, to check out. Oh, well, here's a, those are damaged. Okay. To check out the new changes and everything. Um, and it's really challenging to survive, as you know. But I think I'm doing okay. Um, those are badly damaged. These are... I've got a shotgun as well. So I've got a shotgun and a sporter, or a, um, a BK now. BK is damaged, so it's not the best. And the sporter was in good condition, so it was a tough decision which to drop. But yeah, I made the decision and I'm sticking with it. Okay, so there are lots of sharps around. I'm not having t as many problems with that as I did before. <laughs> uh, the main thing I'm looking for right now is some more food. As you know, this is a challenging map. But it's challenging for a bunch of different reasons. Things aren't what they used to be, so that's hard to get used to. Um, but also, the buildings are a little bit different. They're rearranged differently. They're, um, I don't know the map at all, so I'm just getting used to that too. But it's just been really fun. Oh, I just want to know those, those netting things. I've been fishing. Been doing all kinds of stuff. There's lots of zeds, and they are quite aggressive. So, now I had already done this section of town prior to uh, coming back, but I've noticed, I think, that things seem to be respawning, so I'm just checking again. Uh, yeah, see that's 
pristine, but I've got 11 pristine rags. I don't have any bandages per se, the kind of rolled up kind because I use those up pretty quick and uh, you get killed or beat up pretty good in here. So I've got gloves and I could keep them in repair because there's sewing kits and duct tape. So I'm going to be, you just have to be a little bit more careful with your gear than you had been in previous releases because um, the things are super aggressive. Okay, so that one. I, have I been through here? There's a code lock. For a, if you wanted to base build, you can base build. See, I may have been here. No, I don't think so, because I would have opened that door. Or at least I haven't been here since I got back on just now. So, anyway, I ran for about seven hours, and I, I've just been working my way along the coast. And uh, doing the things that you do. Yeah, getting used to the the wet, um, the map, and I really, I like it. Um, I don't think it's the end all and be all to maps, honestly, but it's a it's a good map. It's fun, and certainly exploring a new map is always lots of fun. Not knowing where you are or where you're supposed to go, or anything like that. And today I have much better ping than I did on the last time I was on. Okay, so there's a... Oh, that's a pristine one. Mine is worn, so let's go ahead and switch. Take that one. We'll take that one. There we go. Yeah, and I've got my, my helmet on, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to stick with that. And like I said, I've been through this town before. Um, most of it. I was about ready to hit the road and then I decided to call it quits because I was having a few problems. <coughs> right now I'd like to get um, a buff again, but I want to get a little bit of food to, to melt um, before I do that. And it's pretty sparse on the ground here. I haven't found too much got one thing to thaw and that's it. So I'm hoping I find something a little bit more before I light the fire, but I, I will have to get the fire going pretty soon, one way or the other, because I'm getting blue. Uh, and I don't like to push it too much. Okay. Let's get back down here. Okay. Let's go in here. Uh, it's a little bit quirky where you find stuff here, too. Okay, there's a, a rubber repair kit. Do I need that? I don't think so. I don't think it will fil fix my helmet. And I don't have that kind of backpack. See, I've got this courier bag, which is the best I've found, surprisingly, so far. A 30-slot bag. So I'm also on the, in the market for a Zed with a bigger bag, but uh, my understanding is the bags are few and far between on this map. So you have to kind of make do with what you can find. Mm -hmm. Now it might be that because I was still in the area, although I was logged out, that's what's affecting loot. Because this is this is more sparse than it was before. Oh, a tater. Okay, now here's the tricky part. I don't even have room for a tater. Hmm. Okay, here's what we can do. We don't need the sporter mag anymore. I kept the one that was good just in case. But we don't really need it. Okay. We do need food. There we go. Just take that. And I've got a tater and a thing of of um, sardines. If I find anything more, I won't be able to carry it, so I might, that might be a good idea, just to stop right now and... Oh, there's another tater. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to stop in this house and cook. Because I've got two potatoes now. So we'll just put our food down... here. Go get the other tater. Now, sure, they're not that nutritious, but... They're better than nothing. Okay. Put the other 
spectator here. Now, if you have buffs, uh -huh, I think that you can. Oh shit, I gotta put the axe there too. I can't carry anything if I don't. These little shrubs are nice. They still cut your hands if you do it without. Now I'll go get a fire going and then um, I can come out and look for some more wood. Go ahead and get that shut. The nice thing is they don't... I'm, not car I'm carrying another batch of rag so I can split them for the fire. So I just every so often just cut up something and put it into there. I don't care if they're what shape they're in. I'll put that there. And we'll get this carved down. Get that in there this carved down. Then we could just eat all this. We're keeping our stats up pretty well and we're managing to find the water. I figured out the stick to the the wells pretty quickly um, and I've got a, a cooking pot and a bottle full of water um, and in my Brian I've got three, count them, three lighters. I couldn't believe it. I was so lucky on that front. Now we can get these things started. It takes a little while to thaw them, so I'll have time to go get some more wood. There we go. Put that back. Go get some more wood. While the co food is cooking. And some of these little short ones, you actually just gather short sticks, which is pretty cool. You don't have to split them. I think you only get one or two per shrub, though, so... Okay, so you have to do have to harvest a couple of them. Put that down. Yeah, you can't hold, be holding something in your hand and harvest, so that makes sense. Alright. Now this will give us four more. And that would be plenty to thaw that food and get our buff. There we go. Back to the house. Okay. Now you just have to wait till these get... These are ro gonna roast, but this is just gonna get room temperature. And then you can eat up. Oh, now this has gone bad, so I'll just get rid of it. Pile those in together. And I could go back for my other duct tape, I guess. <coughs> ah, shit. I don't think I have any more vitamins. Oh, I do. I let myself get too cold. Okay. I found some more vitamins, that's right. Mm-hmm. So I just keep popping one of those whenever I get a little bit... Oh, there we go. If you get too cold, that's what happens. You catch cold and then you can't get well. Uh, really easy to get sick on here, not so easy to get well. So luckily I keep finding just a couple vitamins here and a couple vitamins here and they stack, so that's pretty handy. Okay, this is... Not much food left on there, but it's still raw. And the beauty is, uh, I don't really need to eat them. So I'm looking, the second buff is coming. I 
Well, these turn brown when they're ready, so I actually have a visual cue. Anyway, so it's been going pretty well, and I've been working my way around the coast, and I visited the big industrial. Um, you have to be super careful uh, to not get trapped by the Zeds, though, because they are really aggressive on here. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that second buff here to solidify, and then we can get... Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So I should be well here in a minute. We're nice and warm. We're actually getting a little too warm. So, that was that. Nice. We had a can of sardines, so that was good. Now we're just going to go... See, we keep finding car parts, so I know there's drivable cars on here. <laughs> and they've been through the town. We're just trying not to get caught by the z zombies. Because as much as I have the capacity to fix my clothing. I don't want to be constantly fixing my clothing. I've come out of there. Okay. You can always also find um, sharp stones to make new knives, so that's really nice. Like I said, I'm not really hurting for <laughs> sharps. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> I think I've been in here before. I just don't remember. Just check everything just in case, because food can be anywhere. Now, I found a pretty good jacket. It's bright red, so that's not ideal. But it's a pretty good jacket. Oh, yeah. Pretty good jacket. You definitely want to check the outhouses in, the, in these places, because this is where you get lucky. Now, I could go back, because that fire is still lit. But I'm going to go on, because I've been spending too much time here. And I'm just carrying the axe because I don't want to lose a sh um. Oh, hey, there we go. Like I said, they've been pretty productive. Pretty productive outhouses. And then they got lots of stuff for building and for cars. So I think this, they must be able to do both on here. But what I'm not finding is a lot of high-end guns or... Um, it took me forever even to find the BK, to be honest. So I think that's where you have to hit the millies. Now I've been going um, counterclockwise around the mat. So let's see if I can get in here. Just verify. Yeah, I think I've been. I've been. Oh, hey, that's my old sporter, I believe. Oh no, that's a different one. Okay, so this one's pristine. So this is a tough decision, you know, because I've got the B case. So that gives me distance and stopping power, but it's damaged. Ugh, so hard. These things, though, they just don't stop anything. So it's nice to be able to shoot, but I just don't get any stopping power. And I don't have a silencer for it. And I have not found any plastic bottles. So even though I had duct tape, you don't have any plastic bottles, it doesn't help. Okay, let's see. It's a cleaver. I don't need that. Okay, we're going to get down to the shore. I went through that area down there before. <laughs> so that's basically the trade-off. Is um, yeah, I've been through here. Uh, I don't think that they're all that generous, to be honest. Um. Oh, hey, a new Shemag. That one's damaged. Mine is still worn. I do like the Shemag. Huh. Huh. 
So I think what we're going to do is head out of Dodge and look at getting to our next town. I don't know how big it is. I have a decent ping on here, which I haven't always had in the past. Uh, let's see. I don't have a, a holder for that today, these days. And I do have a flashlight, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. How are my shoes? They are worn. They don't have a leather sewing kit. Okay. Uh, we don't want that, but we do want that. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. That wouldn't be the end of the world, either. Okay. I'm gonna double check. There's not one in the chamber? Nope. Now we'll just take those bullets, because we can use those. Okay. And I think what we'll do is we'll eat the tater. Definitely cool enough now. Yeah, that one was like two bites. This one will be similar. Alright. Now we gotta get our axe back. There we go. At one point I had room for it in my bag, but them days are gone. I'm a bad hoarder. Hi, Etheric! Welcome in! Let me get you a shout out real quick. If I can get my my mouse and my uh, iPad to work, it's cold in here. There we go. I've been doing pretty well. Um, I was very lucky in that my friend Jirazan uh, bought me a copy of Sakal Frostline. Frost and I am so lucky. I, I'm really appreciative of that. Because this is a really cool new addition to my to my portfolio, I guess you'd call it. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to afford it for a long time if he hadn't. So... <laughs> Oh, you got family going, family stuff going on. <laughs> oh, glad to hear that. I hope it's going well. I hope it's good family stuff. Okay, let's get in here. Oh, there's another. Oh, it's a BK in good condition. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Now let's get the damaged one. Oh, that is, it makes me feel so much happier. Okay, five. Okay. Well, I, I've been playing for a while. Oh, those are damaged, aren't it? Uh, about seven hours so far. Maybe a little bit more now, because I've been on here for about maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, but... I've been having a really good time. It's very, very, um, you gotta pay attention. That's all there is to it. You just have to pay attention to everything. You can't afford to lose focus for a second because of the severity of, uh, what happens to you if you, <laughs> if you screw up. go over and see what's in this bus, if anything. Sometimes there's pate or liver in there. Now I did lock a Z into one of these, so, but that was like several restarts ago, so I'm sure that would be gone by now. Oh, oh there's one. Just not interested in fighting them right now. Boy, we are spoiled for choice here. I've got a BK for 133. Oh, that's really cool to hear. 
two stepchildren. I hope they're enjoying being with you and that you guys are having a good time getting everything settled in and figured out. Are they little kids or are they older kids? Yeah, I really like the... Let's see. I like this map, but... Like some people have been saying, you know, it's not the end all and be all. Uh, and it's not. It's not like the perfect map. But it's a good map and I, I'm really enjoying getting to know it. Um, and I think that people who are saying that are just... You know, they're just saying um, that it, it, there, there's always room for improvement, you know. And I think this map isn't done yet. That's what I think. I think they're in the process of, okay, now I've got room for that because I ate that potato. So take that if we need it. And throw it out if we don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my map here in a second. I might need to fix my hands. Oh, look there. Oh my gosh, this is a treasure trove. Damaged. Oh, I'm going to get worn. That's okay. Look at that. The leather sewing kit. Oh, shoot. Um, I don't think I can fit it in. Oh, man. I'd like to take it because my shoes are worn but not damaged, you know. So I know I'm going to need it soon. Oh, what do I do? I'm always like in the same quandary. <laughs> I've got enough space for everything I want to take. Let's see what's in here. I got rid of the bones because you don't really need bones. Okay, so. There's no way I can get rid of all of these things. I could probably get rid of the. 380s, but you know, I might come across something that, like a sporter. This is always the, the caveat, you know, you, you might find something you can use with that. Oh, shit. I'd like to take that with me. I don't have seen so few of them, but I can't stand around forever making up my mind, so I'm hoping I'll. Oh, wait, before I do that, whoops. Aha! Ah, uh, Livonia? Oh, uh, yikes. Tooth, tooth infection sucks. Okay, there we go. Get those fixed. Those are good ages, 6 and 13. Um, I do and I don't. I'm a hoarder, so of course I'm... I always want more, 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 more space. But it does force you to make some decisions, doesn't it? Um, but I also have to carry a significant number of bandages with me because I suck at this game. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some more shoes. Oh, they're all badly damaged. All the shoes that they're offering are in worse condition than mine. Okay, I don't think I've been in either of these buildings. Nope. Just a nice pair of shoes is all we're asking for. Yeah, the, um, getting a new map for the folks on on um, console is gonna gotta be huge. Let's see, that's worn. I'm gonna leave that behind because I don't have any room for it. Especially where you can build and have drivable cars too. I like the triple buff idea. It's a little odd, um, but it is. It does tell you. It gives you a little bit more feedback on. Okay, this is up, nobo, up nobo. Okay, next we're gonna go look at the map and figure out where we are once we get somewhere safe. But I think we're coming into a very big. Um, oh, there's an island out there. From what I understand, most of the islands don't really have anything. 
Okay, up oh, Nobo looks to be... This town looks to be fairly big. Because it looks like there are three levels of houses. So basically I'm just like looting along, trying to figure out the map. Not really doing much in terms of... Nothing on the bottom. So far nothing's been on the bottom of these things. Just up here. Doesn't mean it's always going to be like that, but... Okay. Track suit jacket. Just what I have. Oh, pristine! Oh, ho, ho. oh no, mine's a jumpsuit jacket. Shoot. Never mind. I got all excited. And there's another sign that we're going to have cars. I'd like to be able to carry one of those because they have... You can carry water in them, but... gonna do it. Makes you walk really heavy. Or I don't think it would fit in anything I've got. No big backpack. Yeah, so we'll just go along here. I don't think this is a building you can get into. Oh, shit. good helmet because they bashed it. Oh, my Enduro is better anyway. So this is like sneaky, sneaky. Get around towny. So the, the best strategy I've found so far is to just try and stay away from them because, yeah, see, they just ripped the shit out of my, out of my clothing already. I'll fix it right here because I'll get cold otherwise. <laughs> right along the shore seems pretty cold, but uphill is even colder. Yeah, I'm northeast for sure. Maybe just north, because I think I've turned the corner. on here is better than the ping I had on the last server. So that's good. Let's get around this corner. Into the town proper. Big harbor. So that's my queue. I think I'm right on the northern shore. That's north that way. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I do have a, a compass so I can check in a sec. There's another sharp. Oh man, it's sheds galore. Here, put your arm through there. Yeah, there we go. Lots of sheds. I've got a rope so I can fish. I turned around in here. There's a pipe, pipe wrench. Ooh, a fishing rod. Not such a great idea meeting him in a that's worn and it has a hmm I could go get some fish and I've got some other things I can eat and look I've warmed up that pepper getting cold fast here hmm I don't know if that means that the temperature drops. See, that's a problem though. I don't I don't have anywhere to carry the fish. So I have to get settled somewhere with a fire and then start fishing. I 
into Olga. So this isn't really a town per se. This is like a factory area. Capri pants. Pristine. There's a hunting shop. Oh no, that's a Medi. So we want to get there. Get to the Medi. Can I jump that? I don't think so. Nope. Can I get up on here and jump it? Maybe. Yeah, something useful in it. Oh, I like mine's in better shape. Okay. Got a rocket in my pocket. Oh, hello. do this. They approach, give you a shot at Well, oh, now we got into dark. Now, I will say, dark in here is very, very dark. Aha! Shoot. Five worn ones on top of one damaged one. Oh well. At least I can still sort of see. Oh, there's another fishing rod. Boy, they're really encouraging here. But I can make a fishing rod really easy. I've got my rope. I've got, I've got, um... The ladies have nothing. So far, my uh, finding has been that the Medi... Zeds don't really have anything. So I've got um, paramedic pants on right now. And they're in decent shape. Worn. So I'd be in the market for new ones, but... Only if they're obviously pristine. I take that for now. I'll throw it out or use it. Now, um, I think there might be some gas zones on here. I'm not sure. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. I'm just going to try and. Oh, well that's got 25. Uh, mine's got 30. It does have a spot for that, but it's not worth five spots. I definitely want those bandages, though, so we'll take that. Are they disinfected? They are. Oh, hot dog. There. I might consider dropping a batch of uh, bandages if I can... of uh, rags if I can find a few more of those. Nope. And I don't need the fabric, so... Thank gosh. Alright, so I'm going to take a minute to... I'm going to go find somewhere to hunker down. Wow, I can't see Jack. There's another bandage there. Hmm that down. Okay, is it also... Oh, good. 
Alright, so what we're going to do... This batch is disinfected, this batch is not. So we're getting rid of that. Oh, actually, we'll just drop it on top of there. And we'll get rid of those. There we go. Now I feel like I, I'm a lot better suited. A salt vest? Oh, good. Wow, you're doing great. You are doing really well. Ah, righty. Um, nothing needs repair at the moment. Good. But let's take a, before we get going again, let's take a quick look at our map. Sorry about the sudden brightness. Now, my belief is that I'm up here. Uh... Here. Copa Pub Mump. Because I believe this is the town we just left. Yeah, because it had the the snaky road up into the hills. There's a well there. Here's a well here. But I don't need one right now. I think I'm in here down along this road. And I want to get up here. Oh, I'm here. I'm here at the hospital. So that tells me exactly where I am. Then there's going to be a shop here. And a fire shop. Now, fire clothes would be great. Except I haven't found any in any of the... F oh, oh, this is the, sh the town with the... With the um, I've heard people talk about the town with a graveyard right in the middle. So this is that one. Okay. So I've been through these areas down here. I gotta go over there. I wanna go there. And then this is houses and looting all along here. Probably apartments and stuff. So this could take a little while. And then I, I might like to go up here. I went to the other antenna that was over here and there was nothing there. Um, I forgot where. Here. There was nothing there really. Oh, I, I missed this area. I didn't. I went here. I didn't see that one. I didn't have the map at that time. So, all right. So we'll go back across the road to the shop to the fire station and then the pub and then just kind of wend our way around town. Looks like there's another shop over here. Okay. Put that away. Man, it's dark. But I can't hold my an my axe and my... Now you've got two hands. I don't know why you can't hold two things at the same time, but you can't. Um, that's probably gone. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's my... So that's definitely where we are. Oh, man, it's so dark. I'm going to have to make a decision on the axe. Alright, we're going to have to put down the axe, guys. I can't walk around in the dark like this. I'm hoping. Okay, I know where the stuff is that I dropped. It's in the hospital, so if I get space, I can come back. nobody else is on here is going to shoot me because uh, I'm walking along with a lit torch oh it's that kind of shop okay uh -oh. I'll put this down on the ground so I can see what I'm doing Be able to see well enough to shoot them? I don't know. Boy. Mm -hmm. 
Come on up, ladies. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm sick again. Getting cold again. You gotta stay right on top of getting sick, man, I'll tell you. I'm getting really cold. I gotta get in somewhere. find. But can I hold it? Yes, I can. I'm gonna go get somewhere and get warm. So those, killing those guys was worth it. Even though I did take some damage, I'm sure. Okay, that could make bandages I don't need. Alright, let's go. Nothing. Okay, don't really need anything more, I don't think. I don't think I can carry much more. Hi, Jay! Oh. Alright, now. I gotta get somewhere and get warm. And there's a fire hall just down the road from here. So I gotta avoid the firemen as well. I think I'm heading in the right direction for the fire hall. Okay. Go inside. Get a little warmer. I don't think I can make a fire in any of these. The roof is too low. Just work my way down through the building. It's safer than being outside. I just never find anything useful in these buildings. No, I do not. But, I always feel obliged to check them anyway. Okay, there's the gas station. Vodka. Nice peel. I don't see anybody. Oh, sewing kit. And some bullets. Thank you very much. Can I fit in the sewing kit? Yes, I can. Do I need that more than I need that? Although, I'm going to take one of those because that might help me cope with the cold. Not sure. It's a theory. Is that the firehouse? It sure looks like it might be. Oof. Yeah, the clothing has been definitely downgraded. Oh, don't need that. Yeah, that's a firehouse, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, this is a firehouse. Work our way around here to find out how many of them are hiding in the. Mm. 
Now, I don't know about fire clothes, whether they've been um, nerfed as well, but most of the clothes have been downgraded in the quality or, and uh, um, I have not found any fire clothes yet. I've only found, I think, two other fire halls though, so it's entirely possible that just uh, it's more rare. But I haven't found any fire clothes available. Oh, there we go. I'm the liar. 24 jacket. And it's damaged. But it's got high insulation as compared to this, which is medium. So I think we'll go ahead and take that. Let's see, I gotta fix it first. So let's go put this inside. We'll look around first and make sure there isn't a better one. But I don't think so. Yeah, they're still pretty good. They're, that's as big as I found, is 24 slots. That's the best I, I've got on, the best I could find. So. Uh, yeah, never, never find anything back here. One time I found something back here. And every time I look. Like silly, you you like you're worried about that one time. Okay, now we'll go up top and see if there's anything better up top. Yeah, they they nerfed everything. Um, bags uh, and I the, I have on the best bag I found and it's one of the courier bags that you can make yourself um, haven't found anything better they probably are better ones but they're probably in the Millie zones I haven't made it there yet all right so we're gonna go in here I'm gonna drop this flashlight so I can see I'm gonna try not to fall off the roof oh shit man Don't follow through. Don't follow through. They're there. Whew. Okay, back to the building. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Okay. Whew. Okay. There we go. Now I'll fix it. Yeah, I, I'm at this point. It's a, not just the the size, which I, you know is shocking for me. But it's also the um, the warmth. Oh, now we're back up to best. Yay. So, we'll swap a Rooney. Oh. Now, this has been a great jacket, but I'm not sad to see it go. Because it is bright. <laughs> Another battery. So I'm all set if my flashlight goes out. All right. Well, that sure has been a good ch jacket. I hate to see it go. But all right. Now I've got. Let's see. I've got some. Oh, my soda warmed up. See, this is what happens if you hold it in your clothing and not in your backpack. Sometimes, if if it's just chilly. Well, I'm not feeling PVP at all. <laughs> I'm just exploring and that's how I like it. Uh, let's see. Um, I'll put that over here. That will give me a little bit more room. I've got two more sewing kits and a, and a duct tape. Yeah, jacket is best. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's why I, where I have the baked beans. So with any luck, as you're trotting around finding stuff, you can potentially um, warm up your food enough to be able to eat it or at least um, reduce the amount of time it takes to okay so now I have a jacket that's warmer oh that's so nice now the trick is not to get it bashed up by the <laughs> firefighters that I'm sure are roaming around here okay let's see what we got here 
We got another BK. Oh, it's badly damaged, but it does have a bullet. A nice warm hat. See, this is just medium, but it does give me protection from head blows. And given that I am like the worst PvPer in the world, well, maybe not in the world, but pretty close, I imagine. I need everything I can do. All right, now let's look at that map again. No, there's a pub right across the street. I don't need to look at the map. I need to get to that pub. Now there's been a big discussion over whether these are pubs or what would you call these things. I always refer to this building as the pub because it's got this bar. But that doesn't necessarily mean everybody does. Oh, wow, look at there. Be all set. See, I'm not finding it too hard to find clothes. But good clothes is another question. Good heavy-duty clothes that can keep you warm and that uh, can carry enough stuff. That's what I'm having trouble finding. So. <laughs> I, would, I would roam with, with no um, protection at all, except that I found this press vest. And it has pockets! <laughs> and, uh, Lord knows. Uh -huh, I'm all about the pockets. Alright, now. I need to get warm. And there's a fireplace. Oh, hello. No. Gave it the office. Come over here. Is he, gonna he didn't even react. That's strange. Is it the blizzard, you think? It slows them down? Yeah. Well, there's another one over there. So a bunch of people running around in s pressies, or stabbies. Alright, so this is where my stove is. I want to get something lit over here. Shit, I can't see very well out there. This is not the place for it. I gotta do it soon. Shh. I'll put this down here. So it can light up this area. I have trouble hearing them coming, too, so that's an added negative. going that'll that'll um now you can split them without having to have a sharp that's so I don't remember that being that that way on the old game that you had to have a sharp to split so I mean in the in the olden days ye oldie but I'm glad that they changed that just in uh right so these are the ones that are not um disinfected so We'll get this going. Get our little bear friend with his hidden glory of lovely lighters. Oh, what'd I do? I never put it in. What an idiot. I thought I did. I guess it never went. Okay. There we go. We do it now. Okay. Get that lit. And that'll um, light up the inside of the pub. And a little bit anyway. And we can get our foodstuffs on there. I think I only just have that one can. I think I drank everything else and ate everything else. Yep. Okay, now we gotta get warm. So let's get our flashlight back. I'll sit right here in this corner. <sighs> right next to the fireplace. There we go. Boy, it's cold here too. Yeah, some people call it the pub and some people call it a hotel. Um. I don't have any opener. I'm just going to use my knife. That's what I usually do. Let's 
Go ahead, switch this off and save the battery. There we go. I could cut this up and add it to my stack. For but I got plenty for fires. It's just that you have to light fires often, so it's good to have extra stuff. Yeah, I guess there's a big debate over whether they're hotels or pubs, because technically they have rooms and... Yeah, I feel that way too, Etheric. I never... Uh, I've very rarely had one. And on here, you don't get that many cans of food. So it seems kind of like... It's like, like carrying a lockpick, you know? I don't see the point. Ah, there we go. Beans! And since I have a sharpening stone, I can sharpen my um, knife when it gets worn. Or, I mean, uh, damaged. So, I just keep using this. Okay, I've got one buff. And hopefully... I'm very sorry, I don't have my gamma set up. But basically all I can see is, I can s I'm can. i starting to be able to see the floor and the table, so I think it's getting light. But I think it takes about 20 minutes for dark. Yeah, you can find stones almost anywhere here too, so um, since you're so quenched on, on space, you have to kind of decide. So I've got half of a sharpening stone. Yeah. You don't want to find yourself with a can and no way to open it. That sucks. But we're doing well. We just found a... Uh, a worn BK, mine was damaged, and I've got a pristine BK-133, and I found a fair amount of ammo for it. Here, come on, we're going to get that second buff. Now, I have heard you can get a third one, and usually by running into a wall. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try running into the wall right behind here. See if that gives me my buff faster. Okay, that's. Oh, hey! Look at that, you guys! That's the first time I've got all three! Woohoo! It worked! Also alerted everybody within 100 yards of him here. But that's okay. I can go punch him through the wall. If I can see him. Yeah, come back here, you. I'm standing right here. Punch high, maybe he's got... Okay, one down. You hear any more? There's a door here somewhere. There's one. You have to be careful. Okay, he's got a radio, no battery. Useless. Okay, there's the door back in. Oh, I lost my third buff. You have to stay near the fire? It's not flashing, so it should stay. Okay. I ain't see chit. Yeah. It's back. Yeah, but as soon as I step away, it went away. Okay, it's not going to last long. That's the... Holy crap, I can't see. Okay. We have to haul out the... Uh, I think we're going to put that on there. Okay, we've been through the fire hall, we've been to the pub. Now it's just a question of looting the town, I think. I think I already have that one, but... Okay, let's go and check it out. A bit low. Hopefully they don't see my... F my... F Flashlight. I like these buildings. I had good luck in these buildings.
If I find any more food, I could take it back and cook it up real quick. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. Let me put that down for a sec. Some of them are kind of hard to kill. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for stopping in. I have to. I'm gonna play until I have to leave for my mom's. Feeling a lot better than yesterday. I had such bad cramps yesterday. Ugh. Medication I'm taking now. Oh, hey. Working gloves worn. I like the fingerless ones though, because you can. Let's see. Medium. Medium. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the. I will fix them. Take care. I'll see you soon. I'll have the VOD up if you miss anything. <laughs> I gotta put my VOD from playing Helldivers up from a couple days ago. That was funny. I haven't played in a while. I was so rusty. It was hysterical. I couldn't remember how to throw a grenade. I couldn't remember anything. I was like, uh, rookie. I'm gonna suck. Okay. And I did. As usual. Okay, let's see. Some more gloves. Okay. What's that? Ooh. I do have a vest I could put that on. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this might be the down end of town. Uh, oh, there's some pants. And I am checking everything. <laughs> yeah, we seem to be at the end of town here. A couple of crates over there. Definitely want to go up into the town first before we leave. <laughs> go through the barn. What I'm looking for is, um, uh, what is it? Epoxy. I haven't found any yet, so I don't know if they have it on here. But, um, if I can't carry a leather sewing kit and epoxy, uh, would be nice. Okay, so this is definitely the the uh, industrial end of town. And I don't really usually have oh, too much luck on uh, shit. I think I left that other door open. Anything. That's what always pisses me off about. <laughs> After you fight him, I'm like, you have Jack. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, here's that guy I killed. Nothing. Alright, so, oh, that's a police station. Okay, we're gonna creep over there. That explains why there were so many guys with vests down the street by the fire station. Make sure the back door is closed. Oops. Okay. Now I've already got a press vest, so I'm okay. I'm happy with that. I don't need a stabby. <sighs> Let me think. 
could I use in here? What would be nice? Some bullets. A scorpion. I'm not sure how I would carry it. I've got a CR-75. There. And it's damaged. This one is. War oh, hot dog. Hot upgrade. I've got a mag for it, too. There we go. So now I've got two mags. Okay, put that back. Put that back. Let's fill these up. Okay. Pristine. Worn. Okay. That's good. Both of those are in decent condition. Is that all the 9x19s I had? I guess so. Those are 45s. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we've got some extra, though. That's nice. We've got one extra round, one extra mag. Actually, let's put the one that has a full mag in the actual gun. There we go. That makes more sense. We'll put that one there. There we go. Yeah, they nerfed the police pants too, so they're not they're not any good anymore in terms of you know, I mean they're not better than what I have. Ooh. There's another one, a pristine one. Shit, man. What'd I do? I swapped out the wrong one, didn't I? I did. Alright, well <laughs> geez. I do this all the time. I'm not careful when I pick things up. Alright. We're gonna s we're gonna swap out the worn ones. Good thing I'm not in a hurry or anything. Okay, get rid of that one. Pick this one up. Refill this one. And we got enough to f two full loads now. Okay. There we go that one back in. There we go. What the hell? Put this back in there. The way I want it. What the heck? So there's a few quirks. Uh, the new release that are a little irritating. Like non-rotational stuff, but Ah, uh, it's not the end of the world. I can see a lot better in here now than I could, so... Alright, so did we go back in here? I think we did. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. I can't have anything... I, I'm not armed, so I'm just waltzing in here, hoping for the best. Not a super high pop server, so hoping for the best. Because I can't not put down my flashlight. You just can't, literally. It's not fun to stream when it's absolutely pitch black. Oh, hey. There we go. Can definitely use that. It's dark as the nights are. And there's a police shirt, but we don't need it because we've got our fireman. I'd love to get the fireman pants, too, but... Um, well, that one looks in decent shape. Nope. I'm wrong. Oh, pristine fingerless gloves. Perfect. We'll wipe, we'll swap a -roo. There we go. Upgrading a little bit here and there. Okay. Rubber slugs we do not need. I always think of them as just really pissing the Zeds off. And they don't seem to have any effect against them. Don't even slow them down. But they do attract every other Zed in the whole neighborhood to you. So that's a, a negative. Okay, let's see. I don't see anything up here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, that's that. Alright, before we head out, let's go ahead and turn that off for a sec. Let's see how well we can see. And that was our spot where I put that battery in it. 
Yep, I can't put it away because I put that stupid battery there. There we go. Alright, now let's look at our map again. Take a look at town. Alright, so we're at the police station. This is all industrial. So if we go out the front of the police station and turn right, or come out the back of the police station, just go uphill. I think these look like apartments, the long skinny ones, or buildings of some kind. And then these look like the houses and stuff that we want to loot. Um, yeah, we're mostly looking for food at this point, so yep, yeah, that'll do her. We can do that. Uh, okay, while we're waiting for it to get light. So we just go out the back way and hope that none of the fellow policemen are here. Check this one out. See, I was carrying one of those for a while, and they were pretty good. Oh, hello. Let me put that down. Come closer, buddy. There you go. See any other ones? This is convenient. <laughs> A well placed guard shack. Okay, I don't see any more of them. Let's go see what he had on him. And let me out. Just the vest. Which, if I didn't have the pressy, would be pretty happy to see that, but. Okay. Okay, let's check the cars. I don't need matches. I'll leave those for somebody else. Mm hmm. Nothing. Some of these are definitely rideable, drivable, but um, I had every. I I did I did find one that had everything. What's that? Just the hard hat. Um. But I found two that had everything, but they were missing one wheel. Each of them. So I don't know if they spawn in missing a wheel, or if they, uh... Okay, let's see now. This looks like an apartment building. Yep. I don't know whether apartment buildings spawn anything these days. So let's go check it out. I think this is the first one I found. Oh, this isn't an apartment building. This is one of those, um, I'm not sure what this is. I think it is an apartment building. It's just different than what I've seen before. Oh, cool. Yeah, it is an apartment building. Don't see any food. I don't see anything spawning at all. Well, maybe they haven't got that done yet. Okay. Okay, let's go up. So this is a bit different than any of the buildings we've seen before. I mean, it's been... I think it's like one of the buildings I've seen before, but it's been, like, repurposed. That's kind of cool. 
Hi, Jerza. I am. Thank you so much. I've been having a blast. I'm running around in the dark, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying not to get killed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my sound alerts are working. I have to figure out all that stuff. Yeah, I don't think this building is spawning anything yet, though. Because I haven't found anything yet. Doesn't mean it's not there. I just haven't found anything yet. Top base! Nope. In fact, I don't know if I've seen any rice on here at all. And I don't think there's any way up onto the roofs of these buildings. Okay, that's three stories. And I didn't find anything in them. So I don't know if I'm going to call that standard and avoid these places or check another one. Yeah, it's about t at least 20 minutes long, I think. I came from that way, I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> There's another one. None of them are hospitals or anything. I think they're just apartment buildings. They look a little different than what I'm used to. This looks like two of them strung together. So we'll check this one out. If I don't find anything in here, then I'll we'll call it a pass on uh, exploring these in the future. <clears throat> like a hole in the wall. Oh, that's it? Okay, up we go. It is a nice way to set this up, though. I like the fact that they've put furniture in them, like real buildings, you know, like... Like someone just got up and left, and this is what's left behind. Like every other floor, you get an apartment. Oh, look, there's a way up. Okay, we could get up and look at the, at the roof. But so far, nothing in the apartments. Oh, I take that back. There is something. And we'll put that in our jacket and hope it thaws. So we can eat it. <coughs> and we have a dearth of food stuff, so we may have to fish pretty soon. That's okay, I've got everything I need to fish. Where was he? Upstairs. Or am I on the top? I think I'm on the top. Hi. Yeah. Oh, did I go through there? Why not? I did not. Ooh. Deagle mag. Uh, I never find a deagle. When I find a deagle mag, I never find a deagle. And I never find the weaponry, I mean the uh, ammo for it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. It wasn't... I wanted to take that ladder up to the top. Where was the ladder? Here it is. Okay. Yeah, I like them. Gonna take a while to get used to it, like figuring out where they might spawn loot and where they might not. Ooh, hey. That's a small little roof I got out on. Really have to pray nobody else is up here. Walking around on the roof in the dark with my flashlight. Okay, so nothing on the roof. <laughs> I can fall through that. <coughs> now, am I on the second building? I am. No, I'm not. Did I get all the way down to the end? I did. So yeah, this is a, both buildings only have one access to the to the roof. Interesting. 
Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to take a drink. Hope everybody's having a great day. I did find one thing to eat, but that was pretty f few and far between. No um, usable stuffs. So I think I'm going to just go on out of here, try to find some actual houses. That's the one I came from, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Starting to be able to see places. So let's see. We're out of the industrial now. Get into the habited part of town up here. <coughs> oh, I see that. You betcha. Okay, now we got a couple of those. Nothing there. Nothing down there. Hmm, it's chilly here though. Our, our temperatures here in Michigan have dropped significantly in the last couple of days. So my hands are freezing. I've got my heat can you guys hear the fan on my my um, space heater, or is that okay? It's going right now. And I have the exclusion on, so I'm hoping it'll be okay. But if you hear, if it's too much, let me know. Okay. Starting to be able to see. Good news. Huh. Oh, there's another. Oh. Oh dear. Shoot, I really want to take that. But I don't have any bullets for it. So what do I do? Drop the shotgun? I've got plenty of bullets for the shotgun. Ah, uh, oh, I did didn't mean, and there's no mag for it either. I'm gonna have to leave it behind. I don't want to, but I have no 308s. So I have the one bullet that's in there, and I've got a, quite a few BK bullets, and I've got quite a few shotgun bullets. Shit, I'm gonna have to leave it behind to remember where it is. At least it's still there and I need it. I'd really like to have that, but just can't justify it. Okay. Oh good, Dawn. Oh, thank gosh. There's a church down there. There's the apartments. What's that? Another map, I think. Yep, paper map in worn condition. Mine is in Epperestine, I believe. Nope, mine's in worn else. So no benefit to that. Okay. So we came from that direction. Yeah. Do I want to go check those sheds? Not right this minute. Let's go up the, up the hill. Gotta find some food. <laughs> and get it heated up. I think 
that was a um, heat pad. BK12, got one of those. Oh, there. Hot dog, look at that. Waiting for me right there by the fire. That's nice. And I can get my bus back. Alright. That's one angry Zed out there. Oh! Is that another one or is that the same one? No, that's the same one. Okay, I'll put that back. Oh, she's up on the on the roof. I think this was a heat pack. Yeah. Ah, come on. Let's get that just exactly right. That's everybody's up on the roof. Alert everybody in town, though. We'll go get our fire going. There you go. Yeah, I really like the layout. I like the... Um, <clears throat> I like a lot about it. I think there's a few things I'd probably change if it were up to me, but... So far... Well, that's been few and far between. Okay, I'll put those there. Yeah, those only go on the smoke spot. Okay, I'll put those back. Get our little bear out. Go through our fire routine. Now one thing I don't know is, I don't know if having this sit out here in the vicinity will actually warm it up eventually or not. But I'm going to run out and get uh, a little bit more. Uh -oh. You just keep going, mister. Yeah, just getting in here, getting warm. So, here's the thing. Um, I don't play on the PvP server. I'm not. I'm playing on a pretty pretty nice server that's just, you know, my kind of speed. But I'm wondering how on earth you do it when you can't really light a fire because, um, especially when you're up country, you have to stay warm. Uh, it's really, really imperative. You start getting sick immediately if you get too cold. So, I've watched people play and I just don't know how they do it. I haven't figured it out how they manage to stay warm when it, it's really dangerous to light a fire. I have to, I'll have to study on that. So I've got 109 bullets for my MK. So I'm not going to run out of that anytime soon. Which reminds me. <coughs> I have 21 bullets for the BK. That's why I left the Savannah behind because I just I can't carry it. <coughs> I'm a one bullet for it. If I start finding 308s, you know I'll be like kicking myself. Oh, I don't need to turn that on right now. All right, so this is already back down to chili. So you could eat it right there if you wanted. There we go. But I've been keeping my stats up, you know, my stats, uh, my food and water, and I still get sick uh, when you get really cold. So even though I have not been chunked for a while, you still get 
you know, you get too cold and that's it. So I'm not going to eat this right now. I'm going to put it in my... Oh, I have to eat it. I got any choice. I haven't got anywhere to carry it. So I'm going to have to be making some decisions here about... I'm going to run into the wall here. Right by the fire. That should attract the Zeds. We can shoot them out the window. Funny. Definitely get me the stats faster. And that is the only way that I've gotten the third one. Okay, that one I can carry. Alright. These roofs are too high. Oh, there's a church down there. Alright, we're just going to knife them. Let's go check the greenhouses. See if either of them has anything I can... Add to the fire. And see those those backpacks used to be forty two, I think. But they're not anymore. She can't get over the fence. Ah, there we go. See, they're only 30. And I think they used to be <coughs> 42, if I remember correctly. Oh, i got to check the bathroom. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, I'll go up the village. Make sure you check everywhere. There's a 762 bullet, so let's get that. That's a pristine one. Hmm. Now I'm going to activate this so I can keep my heat buff going as long as I can. Do I want to keep this? And yeah, you're what I'll do. I'm going to hope that I'll find that. It's small and it'll go in that spot. Now maybe that'll attract the weapon. Is that how it works, the Daisy? And see, even the jeans are super small, so you can't you can't find decent clothing for that will um, help you hoard. <laughs> they are really putting a kibosh on the hoarding. It's a cleaver. I found lots of cleavers, but unfortunately they're so darn big. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, see, there's lots of little small stones, so you can always find something to make a knife if you had to. If you can find a dirt road. Oh, see, there's a lock pick. And thank God they don't knock down the doors on this server, because that I'd, I would be in trouble. Oh, there we go. We can eat that right away. 
You can eat chilly stuff if you have a buff. But uh, it'll take away from your buff. Oh boy. Yeah, we don't want a P1. So basically what you find in these areas is just your standard clothing and... Uh, yeah, I'm a huge hoarder too. Yeah, um, the courier bag is 30 though. I mean, that's the best I could find. The one that I got off of Zed. Because I didn't even find any, uh, any um, burlap sacks or anything. So, oh, there's something I can eat. If I can put it inside somewhere. I'll just hold it in my hand for a little while. Oh no, now we got lots of options. Can't really afford to leave behind a source of food. Ugh. Man. Alright, I'm going to drop those. I'm going to eat this. So what gives you better nutrition? A dried pepper or a Sixty four. Oh, found one at a heli. Oh, okay. I haven't seen any helis or heard done any. So we'll have to hope for the best there. I think probably the pepper's gonna be better. But I'll carry the potato with me just in case. <laughs> Let's see. In case I can warm it up with my hand. I don't have to punch anybody with it. Alright. Now that was the last house on this row. Yeah, we're just trying to be systematic going through town. <gasps> as efficiently as possible. With one person it takes quite a while to Loot a town. Pliers. Yeah, there's definitely cars on here. I've been here before because there's those jeans. Now I could carry the jeans around. South of Volcano? Uh, yeah, I think that I've heard others. So I think there are probably more. But, um, I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was at that point when I heard mine. I, I, I wasn't feeling very equipped to handle it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, they're super aggressive on here, too, so just FYI down our potato. Oh, there's another MK. Damaged. No mag. I like it when they make the decision easy for me. I hate it when they stand just a, just far enough. Might as well just carve this up. That way I could eat it if it thaws. Yeah, I have heard a couple of what I I didn't realize at the time they were alley crashes, but um I'll make sure those are pristine, yes they are. And disinfected, yes. So I'm not gonna carry that disinfectant with me because I've already got iodine. I do have the iodine. Yeah, you're already pissed, huh? Well, I 
appreciate it. I, you know what makes me sad on here? And I think it's funny. But the dog houses, the empty dog houses. I love dogs and it just makes me so sad to walk by an empty dog house and realize they were probably one of the first ones to go when people couldn't afford to feed them anymore. Oh wow, a plethora of goodness here. Okay, we'll carry this with us for a bit because these ones you can carry in your hand and they don't um, interfere with your vision. I don't like that when you have to when you carry the ones like that you hold in front of you, you know, and as you're trotting along and uh, you can't see where you're going. Wow, and that was a junk house. And it had three things in it. So there's really no Oh, there's a battery charger. There's no accounting for what you might find. Really do have to check everywhere. I don't know if, um, if the, uh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a food run for sure. I don't know if, um, what was I saying, if the firemen that are strolling around town, if they would give you firemen clothing, I don't know that. Ooh, I like this new redesign. Look how convenient this is, it's like a cute little apartment. You got your clothes, you got your dining, you got your cooking, you got your sleeping, you got everything you need, one little room. But the rent would be reasonable too, especially if you're sharing it with three people. And your body heat would make it warmer in here too. Make yourself a little cup of tea, warm up the whole apartment. All right, now we're smoking. We got uh, four things to eat. Five. Five things to eat. Okay, now that is another apartment building. Have we been to there? I think we've been to there. Yeah, let's work our way up the upper part. So far, the really fruitful places have been the greenhouses, surprisingly. A lot of them have stuff in them. A lot of them do. Okay. I think I saw a guy out there. Yep, there's Granny. Something else I've discovered is that, uh, and everybody probably already knows this, but you can fight from inside of them without any trouble at all. <laughs> so <laughs> they can't get in, or at least most of them can't. So if you can get Granny over here. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. Hello. Hey, Granny. Your cooking sucks. You're nothing like my grandma. You're just terrible. You're terrible. Your cookies are dry and tasteless. Yeah, and they crumble in your hand instead of in your mouth. There you go. That works. <laughs> no, Granny's going to take that standing down. <laughs> Granny! <whistles> Granny! Yeah, both of you. Come on over here. What? <whistles> hi. Oh, yeah, I'm making a little pile. Come on, Granny! Yeah, I got your friends right over here. 
Yep. And I'm protecting my clothes. Oh, you. Granny. You are so unfriendly. All right. I got the ammo for it. They won't come close, so I'll just pick them off from over here. Hey, Granny. Hi. You betcha. Oh, hey, can I get out of that? No, I can't get out of it. Oh, hey, there's another one. Where are they? Do that. Do that. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, cool, cool kitty. Tell us about the boy from New York City. Nothing. Uh, I've got fishing hooks. I'll take it. As long as I can keep it in my bag. Oh, there we go. You betcha. Alright, so I'm going to skip the apartments for now. Because my luck so far has been... Oh, it's up on the roof. That the um, apartments don't yield much. Okay, there we go. Now that will warm up in my pocket, I know for sure. But probably not. See the peppers ready to eat? But probably not in my bag. Did I look in there? I did, yeah. Oh, let's see. Now I have damaged shoes. That's going to be a problem. Because I don't have a leather repair kit. <laughs> <laughs> that grandma was, uh, she was perturbed. Oh, that's warmed up. Okay. They will warm up in there. I'll just keep eating them. Okay. The chips are ready to eat. I don't really need to eat, though, so I'm going to hold off on eating anything I don't need to eat. But it is good to know it'll warm up. Nine by nine, you got seven extra nine by nineteens now. Extra. Yoohoo. Alright. Now let's go ahead and take this with us. Chicken feathers. So there must be crossbows on here. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm trying to remember where I... Oh, hey, there we go. Man, we are looking out here. This is really a good supply run. Um, it was a good idea to check the town. The hoodies even are, you know... Oh. Like, regular shirts are only nine. You can't carry hardly anything in that. So. Right, so I think... Have we been to this house up here? I don't... I don't remember. Yeah, I do. I believe so, but let's uh, double check. I 
think I have, as a matter of fact. Oh, I know I have it now. Okay. Okay, everything's got. I'm almost out of buff. So we have to go... Of me running into Zeds back here is going to be less, I think. I've been up that way. Alright, I'm almost done with this part of the town anyway. I don't need those. Oh, wait! Ah, that isn't what I thought it was. Multivitamins, yes, indeed. I do need those. For some reason I thought it was one of those um thumper thumper round. Okay. Not too shabby. Oh, I've got a bunch of those. I'll put them here for now. I think I think they're in here. Yeah, no. Must be in here. Yeah, so I've got two batches of fifty and nine. I left four behind because I couldn't carry him. Wow, got windy. I think we're getting a storm. When that happens, good idea to get in somewhere warm and hunker down for a bit. Jumpsuit jacket, that's the same one I had until I switched to fire spider. So those are really good, the jumpsuit, not the tracksuit. But the jumpsuit. <coughs> okay, let's get in here. Warm up our food. Get our buffs back. So you do spend a lot of time getting fires going and so that's why I said it's a, it's a slower course of play than some people will enjoy just because it's you got to move slower because you have you have to take care of your health you have to keep it up and as you get stronger and better and in better gear obviously you're going to be able to go longer without having to do this, I hope. I don't know for sure, but one would hope. But you do have to do it quite regularly. There you go. Luckily, I've been finding clothes to tear up, and I've been finding, um... Lighters. I found three lighters. Four lighters, actually. I, th I gave I put one down because I, it didn't have much charge left and I thought you know I've got pretty much my quota of this so I shouldn't hog them okay let's put that on the, to cook I can't I don't think you can put that on there but you can put the potato on there so let's get the potatoes going yeah we're gonna have a storm for sure so we need to be out of that weather sitting by a nice warm fire. There we go. Now we're just gonna run out and get some more wood. There's another enduro helmet. Yeah, these you don't want to be running around outside if you can avoid it. Put that back 
back in. There we go. Okay, that's gonna be five. And I can eat that right now if I wanted to. Keep my stats up. You don't get much nutrition out of it, but you get some. Right now that I don't need to eat right away. This is just warm now. Oh, it's ruined. It's still warm, so I'll wear it for a little while. Let's see what else we got in here. Worn. Mine is worn also. Alright. Same color, too. Oh, hot dog. How about that? Put those on there. Got seven. Tracksuit. Could you set for more rags if I need them? I think I will do that. I think I'll take it in the other room so I don't burn anything. There we go. Hot and raw, warm raw. those back on our stack. Mm. Now I got a smoke tater. Oh, it's burnt. Shit. Don't do that. They can't put those on the smoke spot. Didn't know that. Oh well, we'll eat it anyway. You can eat burnt stuff. <coughs> oh, not when it's super hot, though. Duh. I'll put it in the bag with the other uh, hot thing. It's dried. Alright, well, there you have it. They dry. I didn't notice the color change. But I will go ahead and get rid of this thing, then. And I could put one of the hot taters in there. I could actually keep heating that up as long as it lasted and use it as a heat pad, I think. Okay. There we go. I'm going to get this one heated up. I got all three buffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time I heard that. I guess, no, that's not true. I have heard it before, just not very often. But that definitely means a bad storm, so. There we go. It's already warmed up. I think it had already started because it had been in my bag. So I think I can go around. I've got three buffs, so I can run around the town a little bit. I don't want to get too, uh, stay out there for too long. Or You don't want to be up in the hills with this going on. If you can avoid it. Three o'clock in real life time. Okay, let's go across the street. Let's work our way through the village bit by bit. Start at the top of the street. I might have already... Nope, I hadn't been in here before. I take that back. Wait, what's that? Oh, wrong one. Uh, seven... There. I was hoping I could drop them on top of there. Oh, look, there's another can of pork. I'll put that right in between hot things and hopefully that'll warm up in my bag. 
I don't know if that works, but we're about to find out. You would think it would. Well, actually, these run-down houses have turned out to be pretty darn good. Okay, there's the industrial thing I came back by on the way in. So we've curved around. Again, matches don't need those. Bones, I don't need bones actually. Because I have a bunch of fish hooks already. And I have a war knife. I've got to fix my gloves. Oh, nothing. so nervous about putting anything down on top of these cars. Yeah, I do need to fix my hands. I better do that before they go bad, bad. There we go. And then down... There's where my fire is going, so if I need to I can run, run over there. So I'm finding ammo in some strange places. Another tater. Can't argue with that. They don't give you much, but they give you nutrition and hydration. So my, I haven't had to drink out of my water in forever, which is a huge boon. Oh. That was a red one that went flying by. Yep. Okay. Trucks, yeah. Rocks, trucks. Um, never stand on one of those yellow beds and put stuff down. You know, the flat beds. Not this kind. I'm not sure about this kind, but it'll it'll drop through, and you you may or may not be able to get it back. If it depends on where you were standing and what you had beside you. Unfortunately. And some of these tables actually have stuff on them. Look at that cool toolkit. But not all. There's no, it, it, to me, I can't figure out any rhyme or reason to what's going to have stuff and what's not. It's, it's just luck of the draw, you know. And, uh, oh, an alarm clock, yay. So glad they propagated that onto a new map useless piece of shit. Excuse my language. Okay, sweater. There we go. Those are in here? Yes. Yeah, I think like, that's when I'm really pro tempted to swear. <laughs> my <laughs> Or when you drop something and it goes through somewhere. Especially if you can't get it back. It's like, oh. Especially on a map where it may have taken you like two days to get that far. <laughs> and you're like, oh no. I see that guy heading that way. Gloves. That 
I went that way. I want to go that way too. So I can lure him over and kill him, or I can run around him. Have I already been there? I may have been. <laughs> These two won't fit. Hello. Don't mind if I do. That worked out great. Even better. Just stick your elbow through the wall. Don't mind me. Death by elbow. <laughs> I love it. Nothing. Chintzy booger. No, I haven't been here before. Okay. Uh, P1 mag. Now, I don't need that, but I'll take them six bullets. Nope, I am from Michigan originally, and then I lived in California for a long, long time. Yeah. California. There we go. They went to warn. Yay. SoCal. Just north of Los Angeles. But then I moved back to help my dad out with some chemotherapy. And that's over. He passed away, unfortunately. But we had a good run at it. We tried. There we go. Pristine still. And he had a great life, so... I'm happy that we were able to get him as far as we did. Yeah, I've been in here for sure. I've been in there. I think I've been everywhere here. This part of town. Oh, something in there. Another pepper. Yeah, um, no, I've lived all over the world, too. I mean, I, I went into the Peace Corps in my 20s? Yeah, 20s. And um, so I've lived kind of all over the world. I pick up a little bit here, a little bit there. Oh, wow. Would that be a rabbit pen or a chicken coop? I think that's a chicken coop. And what would this be? Rabbits, right? Rabbit hutch. So they had rabbits and cats. Yes, this is so cool because it's like a real living person's effort to stay alive and well fed. And you can definitely see that they were making a go of it. Then the fucking pandemic hit them. And we all know how that works out. Okay, now. These are badly damaged. These are the only other shoes I've found. If I don't find some more shoes soon, I'm going to be in that same position. Shit. So I've definitely been here already. I did find some wellies somewhere, but I couldn't tell you where. Hmm. So we haven't been over to that part of town. Oh, there's some more parts up here. Have I been over here? Don't know. Yeah, I believe I have, yeah. Well, let's take a quick peek in case those shoes were in here. Hello. Don't mind me. Oh, you made me cut. You bastard. I'll have to put that down. Get healed up. Yep. Okay, yeah. There we go. Hold <laughs> still, best. Yep. 
hold still. Oh, he's in the corner. I hate when they do that. Oh. Gun rays. What a pain in the butt. Jeez, it takes six shots to kill him if you don't happen to hit him right on the noggin. Luckily, I have plenty of those. I might not always, so I shouldn't waste them, but... That guy deserved it. I hope he didn't ruin my... Make me have to repair stuff. Probably did, though. But I've got three. I'm, I'm all say I'm okay. Warren, 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 Warren. Oh, those shoes are gonna be the. Yeah, I just don't find the, the kits. Okay, before I get hungry again, or before I start walking again. Oh, stuff is freezing again. Interesting. Did you notice that? I gotta take it easy on the burnt stuff. You can't eat too much. But this is all getting cold again. Interesting. So you can carry it in here, but you're likely it's gonna kill you eventually. You can't find somewhere to warm up. Where did I shoot that guy out the window? Where did he go? Which window was I standing in? I can't even remember. Ah, there he is. Nothing. Okay, so I think I had been here already. And I was heading to a different part of town. I came back in here. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. Alright. And I saw the, the rabbit hutches. And so I don't think I'd been down this part of town. This is where I came in, but it was in the dark and I couldn't see. Pretty sure I've been there. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Okay. So I've kind of been everywhere on this end of town. I've been through the, the apartments. And I've been up to the houses. So let's go on down the road. <laughs> yeah. The tricky part with the burnt food is just, you know, you can't eat a whole lot of it. So if you're like desperate, starving, you can make a mistake, and then you get yourself into trouble. Alright, so there's a guy there. Oh, a pink Brian! Definitely want a pink Brian. Um, there we go. No, he can't go on my toolbar if he's inside of a Brian. We'll put these things inside the Brian. There we go. He's badly damaged, but I can stitch him up later when I have time. Oh, that stuff is thawing again. Did you notice? The stuff in my bag is thawing again now that it's daylight. Oh, that is interesting. That's going to complicate things. Oh, more duct tape. Can I fit it? Uh, I can if I that there. Eat that. Put that there. And drink this. Put that in. We'll Tetris it. Now I've completely filled the thing I picked up because I completely filled everything else. <laughs> yeah, I, I get myself out of trouble too sometimes, but 
sometimes I get a little overwhelmed, I freak out, and that's when I get myself into real trouble because I don't I don't uh, react with the right um, shall we say aplomb. I get freaked out. And I make a bad decision in the heat of the moment. And I get cornered or something. And I'm trying to figure out what to do and I get in hit and all that good stuff. Alright, so we came along here in the dark. And I think we're right to we can't really get into that building. There's nothing usually in there anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Let's go check. Oh, this is this is a jail building. Oh, you know, there is occasionally something useful in these buildings. So let's look. Got my bag with me. I can't tell you, uh, twice now I've set something down to look at something or to deal with something and then forgot to pick something back up again. So that's uh, also a factor in your spotty memory. Yeah, this is the building I call the hit and miss. Sometimes you find stuff, but most times you don't. We still feel obligated to check both floors in every room because this t this is a Millie room HQ building and sometimes there's really good shit in here but this one they've used it for some other purpose like a it almost looks like a school and the way they have it set up here it's not the same uh, furniture in it though as usual so there's nothing though that's too bad Not a not a not a zip zilch. Let's check the roof. On occasion, I have found a mag up here, <coughs> or some bullets. Oh, a black tactical shirt, twenty-four, worn high. Mine is worn best. Okay, so wow. Well, it's nice to know those are there. Check that out, and it looks good too. Woohoo! I'm just gonna stick with the one that's best, though. I gotta find some more shoes, though. I really need shoes. Even wellies would be okay for you know for now. Oops. <sighs> yeah, it it really does. It's more like um, they've done the tier thing, you know, where from here to here you have this loot, and from there to there you have that loot. I really need shoes. Where am I likely to find shoes? Hmm. I did see some shoes, I just don't remember where. And I didn't pick them up then because I was still, mine were still worn. But mine have gotten damaged now. I don't know if I find any in those. I don't think I. Well, I haven't... Have I been over here? I don't know if I looked in here or not. I think I did. No, I don't think I did. Because I would not likely leave one unopened. Yeah, I need shoes. I have um, duct tape so I can fix them. No, you can't, because you need leather for that. Yeah, I don't have a leather repair kit, so I'm kind of screwed. I really need shoes. And I don't feel comfortable going to a new town without shoes. So... Yeah, vehicle can spawn, that's true. I already checked there. Oh, I didn't check the car, so I just checked the office. These trucks sometimes have something, but not... Oh, there we go. A raincoat. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, shoes. Or a leather repair kit. That would be good, too. Yeah, I've got plenty of rags. But, uh... 
I don't have room for that. <coughs> Put that one in. Eat this one. I didn't find any at the police station. Doing pretty well though. Just need to find some boots. Boots or shoes, I don't care. Sorry, guys. There's a winter quaff. And it is damaged medium. <coughs> yeah, I'll probably have to lose my helmet, which I don't want to do. Don't believe there was any in the... <sighs> Stuck on stuff. need a leather sewing kit. That would be handy. I've been to the fire shop and it didn't have any there. didn't have any here. <coughs> Cannot remember where those shoes were that I saw. Yeah, they're usually either sitting on top. I know I've been in here. <laughs> Come on, shoes. Maybe not. No shoes. No, I don't think I have been in here. Or at least I only think I... I might have went one way and never come back. There's a lot of doors on these things. Oh, fire barrel. Oh, barrel. Any oh, and a fireplace. But no shoes. No shoes anywhere. Shoes, no shoes, no shoes. Somebody broke through there. Yeah, I'm just focused on shoes at the moment, but I have to get going pretty soon. So I think I'm going to have to call it on the shoe hunt until later. Getting cold again. Were they at the pub? They might have been at the pub. I just don't recall. They weren't at the fire station. I don't recall. I knew there was some stuff here, but it's not shoes. Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes on leads pretty soon. Wow, look at them all over there. They've all respawned. Sites. And neither of my guns will take a combat sight. Combat jacket. War and medium. Ah, oh, so there's combat jackets have 24 slots too. That's good to know. Maybe in the sh in the in the um this thing. Is this where I might have seen them? I don't think so. Wait. Huh. 
we heat up our couple of bites of pepper. There we go. Please be up top. Please be some shoes. Nope. I know I've been here before, but it was not shoes. It was gloves. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to call it there because I have to get ready to go over to my mom's. No, we have to remember I put on the top of my list shoes. What if I can pick those up? Mm, no, just for spare pair. Nope. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. And thank you very much for coming in, guys. I'm gonna see who else is playing and get you guys rated out to someone who's also playing Daisy, maybe. <laughs> Nitno's on and Nitno's fantastic. But he doesn't need a small raid. So let's see. TSP Bobby is playing Deer Isle. Oh, it's been fixed. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Um, I was just watching him yesterday, though. Let's go. Let's go over to Bizbomb. He's playing Sakal. He's going on a hunt for a uh, snowmobile. The great guy too. So hang on one second while I get over there. Spell biz bomb correctly. There we go. Thank you very much for staying and for coming in. And we'll get that taken care of just a sec. I can't remember how to spell his name. Shit. Ah, uh, just one second. Is it B I Z Z? Yeah. Dang. You think I could remember from one second to the next? Been one of those days. There we go. And thanks again. And I will catch you guys uh, the next time I get on. The uh, stream shouldn't be too long. And I really do appreciate you coming in and chatting with me. And keeping me company while I try this great map. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.